Get your popcorn ready. And it's the first episode of season four, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm seeing this is Jewel. Just Jewel. Never thought we'd make it. They renewed my contract another year. Suck it, Mom. Four seasons. <laughs> and today, we're giving... She's your biggest fan. Yeah. We're giving you the top five most popular knives of 2021. Yeah, so lots to choose from this year. And though we've got the list, we're still going to mention some knives that made waves. All mm -hmm. in our honorable mentions section. So, C, start us off. All right, so it's the top five of 2021. Ready? So the fifth most popular Poker V42, Devil's Brigade Fixed Blade. That wow. Rhymed. Really? I know, crazy. I isn't mean, it? I know it's a newer knife this year from Boker, and it's only like 104.96 from mm -hmm. Ed Lang Knife. Knife. Com. So I guess I'll give specs real quick. So this one is 12 inches overall, with a seven inch black finish, double edged stainless blade. It's got the stacked leathered handle with stainless guard and pommel. It's also got a glass breaker. Comes with a brown leather belt sheath pretty extensive for something you're probably just going to display. Mm -hmm. And a USA maple leaf patch. You're not digging the patch? I like the USA part. Alright, so this is limited edition. I think it's 3,000. Can't remember the exact number. This one's number. 0559. We've sold hundreds of these things. Oh my gosh, hundreds. I can't even tell you how many of them. Lots. More than you could possibly imagine. Um, Which is surprising. It is a nice V42 replica. I will say that. Most of them are the stacked leather, have a little screw handle at the bottom, uh, or they're Just like a plain case. plain black, too. And the case is like more than three bills. Yeah. But, you know, for a hundred bucks. I just didn't know replica. that the need or want well, it's for who, a V42 it's, replica <clears throat> was so high. It's the people who have a hundred spare dollars. <laughs> Apparently, it's a lot. The, the older it's a guys lot. like these knives. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This isn't the type of knife I would think would be one of the most popular. I mean, I like the dual-sided dagger blade. It's nice. But no, I'm but betting look, it's just for display purposes. It, yes, yeah, obviously. But if you can't buy your own tank, you might as well get one of those, you know? Is this... You really just compare this to a tank? Well, you know, there's a lot of you guys just, out there that like military stuff. and You should have went like a good if you replica. want... A giant hobbit sword, then you get this. Hey, I would take a Humvee. We all would take a Humvee. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, so next. You ready to move on? So, number four of the most popular blades this year was the Spartan Blades Shoto. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this one, not actually surprising. Okay, Spartan Blades started out with only fixed blades, they had some custom made ones, they did the Alalala. -la -la. Which was extremely pop popular. I think that was like last year or the year before. Mm -hmm. Then they re released a few high dollar custom folders like the, the Hersey folder. Then they started getting more affordable for, you know, publicly available models like the Aster, the Talos, and the Ronin Shoto. They call them their field grade models. Yeah. Alright, so this is a folding karambit line of lock that is a collaboration between Spartan Blades and Tulam Ronin Tactics. It features a two and a half inch CTS X. HP Tanto style blade with satin finish, tie nitride finish, the Emerson wave feature, which, which they, they did, did not, not steal. steal. Yeah. For ease of opening and a reversible pocket clip. Just something you don't usually see on karambit style knife. Let's be honest, we don't really see folding karambit style knives that often. I don't I can't think I can name one. Maybe this no. CRKT Provoke, is that folding? Uh, I don't really... I'm not even sure what that is. That's like a... That's a gimmicky type yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's like Elon Space Truck. Oh, oh Cyber Truck. <laughs> Cyber Truck, whatever Don't you it's go called. missing Elon right. Musk. So lastly, this line of lock also has a black and red G10 scale, 775 inch overall. And, once again, it's 10484 at alionknife.com. Wow, really close and price of the Boker V42. We sell a lot of knives at that price Coincidence? range. Coincidence? So I like this knife. The karambit ring on this folder fits just right. Mm -hmm. It's good regular carry. It's got the good reverse grip. I'm just, yeah, I'm just messing with it. I'm not showing you. Not surprised by this one at all. By you? 
Uh, no. Not really. All right. So number three on the most popular list, and that was the Kaiser Kauser K. Mm-hmm. We sold out of this knife twice. Twice. And it was only just released maybe three or four weeks ago. Exactly. Yeah, something it's, like that. It's crazy. Um, betting this knife was a huge hit due to Kaiser's 154 cm steel with rich light mm -hmm. for only $69. From a landknife.com. There it is. All right, so I know we just breezed over when we uh, went over the ties at Towser K, but it's not widely known material. It's often used on it's Isn't often, often used, used on, on knives. knives. It is more expensive material and involves quite a bit of preparation to make. Yeah, I've only seen it in like used in cutting board mm -hmm. and certain guitars. I can see why they sold quickly. I mean, one of the few out there materials that Kaiser has attempted to dabble in. We would give you a close up, but as we said, we sold out. We sold out. And sold out means sold, sold out. Even us when we do have that new knife that has that new material. Mm -hmm. Just like that. It's gone everywhere. Just time. like that. Yeah. All right, so now us had time to snag one, obviously, or you know, and we'd have be one. be showing you. Yep. So we'll give you a close-up and specs from uh, one of our early encounters with the Micarta version. I'll go with no K. Kudos. I go with no K. Comes in two options: red Micarta and blue Rich Light. With guess what? <laughs> Which is basically layers of paper and resin. And sold out. Yeah. Here we go with specs. Which is why we only have the red one right That's now. That's right. I would have had it out here, but it's been gone for a week. Eight inch overall with a liner lock is that correct mm -hmm. has a 3.4 inch 154 cm sheep's foot style blade satin finish plain edge flat grind and most importantly jimping it's deployed with the dual sided thumb studs operates on ball bearings and is about 0.12 inch thick there's also a tip up reversible pocket clip i believe it also also um, offers deep carry on this one because it rides lower in your pocket just in case anybody wants to know also got a uh, lantern hole this liner lock was also designed by azo and is just 69 dollars all right so we just gave the editor a tiny break you're welcome so that brings us to number two on the list the second most popular knife this year and that was the kaiser land Wow. I know Kaiser pulls out another winner this year. Mm -hmm. So this knife wasn't a huge surprise either as it sold out several times since its release. Two options for this knife as well, but the green one was the more desirable version. At eight inches overall, this folder has a three and a half inch satin finish bowler N690 stainless clip point blade with hollow grind and jimping. Ooh. It is open by the nail nick or flipper stud. Handle is Micarta and sports stainless steel liners. Wow. Tip up and by dexterous pocket clip and a lanyard hole. Lastly, this liner lock was designed by Azo and Ray Knife. I like this knife. It fit well in the hand, had an interesting you know, like textual Micarta handle, and the style of the Micarta really appeals to me because it's less likely to start fraying along the edges. Mm -hmm. Kaiser kind of does that type of look on some of their other knives, like I think it was the horn. And finally, you get the super sharp Bowler N690 blade for 69 bucks. At LineKnife.com. Oh, it closes so easily. I think I might have mentioned this. It's like... You know, it's funny. I noticed that... that the most popular knife brand nice. doesn't have any knives in the most popular knife. That is true. I think it's because they make so many models that they kind of just sell them and move on quickly to the next one. And I Kaiser did a great job this year of really doing different stuff. I mean, we didn't include the Mini Bay, yeah, the mini which bay was a was totally big. different the type of knife. One. I mean, most everything they did there this year was... There's a few other ones, too. I can't remember what they were. Different. Quatch was different. Mm -hmm. um, the Grazioso. Yeah. Those were... I like the Walnut. De uh, was was it Deviant? Yes. The Deviant That was sold very out. popular, too. It's kind of the same color. See, and they only did a few models. And then the other companies who sell more overall, they just kind of do this one and a little bit different with this one. And then this one, this one in blue and green and red and orange and blue and... Lightweight. You know, which makes them more popular of a company, mm -hmm. but Kaiser either had a hit or a miss. So, all right. So they're just sixty-nine about sixty-nine dollars. We did that part, but we'll do it again. We are at LineKnife.com. All right. So we finally arrived at the most popular knife of this year. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get a landmark. What was that? I wonder. One more time. Okay. So the most popular knife this year, and that was. Do you think they can guess? 
they should be able to guess. Probably. Cold Steel Mini Leathernecks. And the Cold Steel Kyoto 1 and 2. Yeah, might as well throw them in there you also. Just throw them on. All right. Yeah. Wasn't a large surprise. Not really. I mean, they, they came out at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. They're most they're the most budget friendly Cold Steel knife has pretty much ever released. Mm -hmm. And they were the perfect size for neck carries. Or boot carries. So we're going to give you the specs on mm -hmm. the mini leather necks, which just came back in. So there's three different options on that. So we have the Tonto, the Double Edge, and the Clip Point. What? Look at them all. So each has a black Cray X handle. Blades are about 3.25 inches. About. Satin finish, 8CR13 MOV. Stainless blades, about 6.75 inches overall. They each have a lanyard hole and come with a black Securex belt sheath. Each of them's got their own because different blade styles. We're also going to go ahead and give you the specs of the Kyoto 2 since that's all we have right now. Literally, this is the only mm -hmm. Kyoto we have. The only one. So, this fixed blade is 3.25 inch stainless overall. No overall. That's the blade. Satin finish 8CR 13 MOV steel trailing drop mm. point blade. I think I need a break. You want me to do it? Okay. <sighs> Has no, a I'm black. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. It's a lot to say. Black Kraton handle with a. I was going to give you a chance. No. Sukamaki style texture. Probably messed that up. The Kyoto 1 has a Tanto style blade. Both come with a Securex sheath and are about 6.6 .6 inches overall. Yeah, we're not Japanese, so all these budget cold steels are about 3.3 ounces and are only $23.84 at langknife.com. That's no excuse. I dismiss it. No soup for you. It right. wasn't Japanese, though. What do I think? Yeah, well, the Kyoto, I'm going to hold the double-edged. Here's the deal. This is, yep. Yeah. I mean, I like the knives, but as I think you're going to point out, there were some downsides. There are a couple of downsides, even though it's real budget friendly and it's cold steel. Besides the, the steel, which had to be low budget to be at this price, we just got to be honest. And the fact that they gypped us on like a neck chain or a sheath clip, if they're meant to be carried like neck knives or in the boot, you need to give us one or a way to obtain one. Oh, they gave you a way to obtain one. Oh, did they? Yeah, they tell did. Them, tell them what it was. A ten dollar bill. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what that was. That was what we called leading the witness. <sighs> oh good. I like cold steel, but come on. Yeah, shame on you, GSM, on this one. You know. Shame on you. Okay. So shame on you, cow. Shame <laughs> on your ancestors. Just shame. <laughs> shame I mean, on. it is a nice knife. I like the keel. I don't know which one I like better. I like them all, to be perfectly honest. I could see myself. And just for cold steel, I mean, this thing's sharp. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's what it is. Circumcised okay. that. That was yep. our top five most popular blades this year. However, yes. there were several other knives that caused the hype this year, and those would uh, be. Honorable mentions. So that would be the Finch Cherry Bomb. The Model 1929 and Devil's Finger. Max Ace Goliath. The Kaiser Swayback. The Cogent, which came in at the end of the year mm -hmm. and just didn't get the time. Mini Asticus, Mini Elementum, and... Say it. Minimus. Thank you. The Spyderco Yo Jumbo, the new Spyderco Shaman model, and the Crew Wear Spyderco. Yes, now the PM2 Crew Wear sold Would've... everything we had anytime we got it. Mm -hmm. Would have made it, but they just don't give you enough. They just don't give you enough. K-Bar Space Bar. The EOS Mini Thresher and Regular Thresher. The SOG Ultra XR, which started off with a... And just that. It was in gold and graphite. Along with the CRKT Ritual. See, I can do the same thing. Just didn't get enough of those either. I have the Cold Steel Tawar. And finally, the United Cutlery Cyclone Push Dagger. Ah, uh, Tawar. Yeah, Tawar. And we'll never forget... The new versions, all the way to Double J, the QSP <laughs> Penguin. 
You can After never, the Elementum's heart. Uh-huh. Never forget the uh, waddle mm -hmm. there. Okay, so that ends this week's episode. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. Yep. Are we going to say Happy New Year at any point? We can. All right, so you can catch all Happy of our new, new reviews, videos, as well as being automatically entered into our giveaways. Right now, we're giving away the Steelville Janiya. Wow. Yeah, that was delayed a little. Anticlimactic. Sorry. And on AK's blog, if you answer the trivia question, you'll be entered to win the Best Tech Venga. Wow. A little uh, after the holiday treat. Links in the description. Finally, we're on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Rumble. If you ever want to see great knife photos. Great oh. knife photos. <laughs> great. That's funny. Catch our videos on the go or see what's new at AK. Check us out on those. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm C. And this is... Ready for the new year, Joel. She means ready for the new year. Oh, does Just she? Joel. And we are signing off. <laughs>